Hey Aries, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So Aries, you are starting the week with the overall energy of Three of Cups. Wow Aries, for a lot of you that could be some celebration. For the others of you that could be a reconciliation on the horizon. Let's see. I think there's a lot of chilling, partying, going out with friends, hanging out with people who make you happy. Let's see, clap for the Three of Cups. Yep. <clears throat> someone out here who there is no growth, there is no expansion with, someone who probably is not being able to commit to you or now wants to commit to you, okay, is wanting to come back and out wanting a reconciliation. So there is a potential of a reconciliation in your overall uh, week out here. This person out here that you've uh, lost connection with or you've broken up with, Okay, someone out here, I'm seeing some of you who walked out of a marriage and others of you are in separation, no communication. This person here refuses to let you go. Okay, they're wanting to come back around. It's like very, very far from ending. Okay, this is very, very far from letting this go. They're not going to let this go. It's a connection that, uh, like I said, there's a lack of growth out here. Okay, but somewhere, somehow, even if this person wants this with you, they kind of suspect themselves, you know, they doubt themselves, they doubt the potential of this connection. That's the kind of person who wants to come back towards you. Okay. Now in the past, we have uh, the King of Pentacles. I feel a lot of you were very focused on your career, your work, your goals. Or there could have been an offer from someone very stable, secure in your life. Can I the King of Pentacles? I feel a lot of you King of Pentacles, were very focused on yourself. It's the King of Pentacles. Um, I feel a lot of you, so there was something that was very toxic in your past, okay, for some of you, you could have identified some toxic trait in a person out here and this person or this connection was stressing you out, okay, there was a lot of sleepless nights that you had, okay, and uh, somewhere, somehow, you tried to manifest a new opportunity, a new beginning in your life, but I don't feel you wanted to manifest this with this person, I feel you had the willpower, to get out of this connection to leave this toxic connection but i do see a lot of obsession so no matter how much you try to try somewhere somehow there was this attachment that you had to this person okay while you were focused on this person or whilst you were focused on yourself on your career for the others of you this is something that you wanted okay a part of you wanted to let it go a part of you was manifesting this new beginning part of you was manifesting this offer from this person okay but i don't think it worked out <clears throat> For a very small part of you, I feel that uh, there could be an offer from someone very uh, stable, could be uh, older to you in age, okay, someone very stable who wanted to come towards you and make you an offer of commitment. But because you were stressing out, okay, and there were some negative thoughts that you had, uh, you probably rejected that offer. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Now the current situation we have, the Five of Cups with the Queen of Swords. So, so I do feel a lot of you, although you do have a lot of regret, you know, there's a lot of crying over spilt milk out here. You know, um, a lot of you are feeling hopeless. Or maybe this person, I feel this is this person out here who feels very hopeless about the connection, okay? They just feel it's over and done with and nothing can ever work out. What's the Five of Cups right now? So I'm really getting no communication. What's the Five of Cups? yeah you are dealing with someone who is emotionally unstable okay so this person here comes off to be extremely sensitive to me extremely sensitive all right and this person out here is thinking about the long-term investment that they've done in you or they are wanting to do this investment into you okay but it's like they're constantly asking themselves you know is this connection going to be working you know will it work out is it going to be able to be salvaged will they be able to restore this connection out here okay and they're getting restless a lot of you this person wants to talk to you but they're getting very re restless okay they're almost going through a mental breakdown is what i'm getting for a lot of you okay and uh, you're like i said you're dealing with someone out here who's emotionally unavailable but more than anything i feel they're too sensitive and they're having a hard time with accepting the reality okay <clears throat> queen of swords where's the queen of swords here and i think you cut them off which is why it gets even more scarier for them queen of swords
Yeah. The kind of person that you cut out is someone, you know, who's watching you from a distance, okay? I feel this person out here is watching you from a distance, all right? And they're wanting to communicate with you. This person wants to start a brand new beginning with you, okay? Because they have a lot of love for you. This is someone out here who you are in, um, you know, who you think that this person out here is a perfect couple, okay? You and them. Because I feel two of cups is the card of where there's unity, right? Where the love is equal on the, both the sides. And there is an opportunity here, okay? Of... Um, uh, wanting to make this offer but unfortunately this person out here although this person wants to give you the clarity they want to cut the bullshit and come straight to the point and talk to you unfortunately they're not doing so what they're doing is they're watching you from a distance keeping an eye on you okay but not doing anything about it okay they're not doing anything about it they're just keeping it to themselves now what's on your mind a lot of you are wanting to move forward Oh, six, six of this is what's crowning the situation. Five of the six of this person out here is hoping to communicate with you. They want clear communication and they want to give this. Okay. But they're constantly thinking, 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 overthinking, over analyzing, okay, about how they can come towards you and give you this offer. But because they feel that things have ended, you know, there's a lack of hope. Okay. They have a lot of remorse and regret and they just feel that there is no potential or there is no way that they can make it work out okay <clears throat> yeah someone out here wants success with you okay they want success with you yeah they want to let their guards down for a lot of you this person here could have blocked you this person had a hard time letting you into their life, you know, and they always kept you at bay, always kept you at arm's length, okay? Now that's all changing. There is like a huge change in the way this person thinks, the way this person feels, okay? Finally, they feel that destiny is on their side, luck is on their side, and they want to make a move towards you. You're dealing with someone out here, I'm getting, who uh, has always been okay being on their own, you know, and uh, they never wanted to commit, they never wanted to be in a relationship. Even if they were in a commitment or a relationship with you, I feel they always had this individual life, okay? Where you were on your own, they were on their own, okay? So there was no emotional fulfillment. I feel it was just that stability out there. Now this person out here is like, literally they're having a hard time maintaining that, okay? Because now this person here is falling in love with you. They did fall in love with you in the past also, I'm not saying that. But I feel this person out here wants a new beginning with you, okay? They want to revive the connection. Now for the others of you, I feel that uh, you may want to move on, okay? You're no longer fighting for this connection. You could be moving towards new love. A lot of you are moving towards new love, okay? And there is a slight, a slight, small codependency issue that I see, okay? Where you are probably coming off as a little needy, okay? For some of you, you may want to get over and you're looking for rebounds, okay? And you're like, you know what? I need to keep moving forward. So you want to keep moving forward, you probably have someone new in your life or someone new you're talking to, okay? But you see there's a potential here. But if this is you, you're choosing to move forward, okay? Because you're choosing to change your mind and keep moving forward, all right? And uh, you're probably opening up the lines of communication is what I'm getting. You know, you're giving other people a chance. And if you don't think this is you, then this is your person like I described them, okay? That they're wanting change and they're wanting to come towards you with a new beginning in love, renewal in love. Now, what's the situation? Why is all this happening? <clears throat> Confusion. Fly with the Seven of Cups. Your person's very confused. They want to make you an offer. This person here, like I said, they want, they see you as marriage material. They see you very grounded, very practical, someone who's abundant, you know, and uh, they definitely want to wife you, husband you. But they're not taking action because they are very conflicted. Like I said, there's confusion here. I feel this person out here more than wanting, this is not really an action taker, okay? So for some of you, this is someone out here, you know, who dreams a lot, plans a lot, has the willpower, but unfortunately, they don't really, uh, uh, you know, fall through, you know? The follow-up is very, very bad, okay? They don't take action on what they have decided. There's a lot of copping out, okay, of hard work or copping out from taking action. 
you're dealing with someone out here who thinks they are right that's also one thing i'm getting where they think they are right okay whatever decision they make they think they are right so you know a very indecisive person very wishy-washy someone who does not believe in their own conviction and that's happening because this person out here <clears throat> either has options or they're just very confused they're daydreaming about you there's wishful thinking out here but there is just procrastination there's no hardcore concrete action being taken that's the problem that's the problem out here and which could probably be why you're moving forward okay now in the future we have the seven of wands clarify for the seven of wands that's very defensive energy seven of wands and the time goes okay now for a lot of you i do feel that there could be a new person coming in to offer you commitment okay for a lot of you i see commitment coming in ten of pentacles the hierophant now a lot of you if you're looking for marriage this could be a brand new person uh, and for the others of you who are literally looking at arranged marriage there is a potential of arranged marriage coming in for you okay <clears throat> uh i feel this is this this person out here <clears throat> wants to marry you but this is a new person i don't know why i get the feeling of new person out here the problem here is that you are not going to give in to this and you may keep this entire offer this opportunity at bay you may just keep it at a distance i don't see this person in the future i am not seeing the old person coming in to offer you this uh it could be for a few few when the old person is coming in to offer you commitment out here it could be all right no old person is coming to give you this commitment out here but you want to keep a distance okay because you're already choosing to move forward you're already making up your mind to move forward okay and <clears throat> this person out here where there's so much of confusion they eventually come towards you okay they eventually come towards you to make you an offer but again like i'm saying you want to try and avoid a disaster okay and this person out here wants to rebuild the connection from scratch so it's like you know it's up to you whether you want to give this person a chance to rebuild okay and for the others of you if you want to give this new person a chance to give you the stability and the marriage but i feel <coughs> excuse me if that is the new person that you're already talking to then this person is going to try and convert this into something committed okay but there's a lot of resistance from your side aries if this is the old person coming back you still have the resistance because with the old person out here you just feel like oh my god it was a complete disaster in the last time i don't want to repeat that again okay which is why you have the overall energy as a reconciliation where there is a potential of a reconciliation as the overall energy the past is still not ready to cut cords with you okay uh this is someone you wanted a happily ever after with but unfortunately you're not wanting to invest into this person like i said because in the beginning like i said you don't see any growth out here you don't see any chances of commitment out here okay so i feel there's an old person and a new person out here but you can take it out resonates okay okay <clears throat> let's take some love messages for aries and their connection some love messages for aries from their person please Oh my god that's so many shit I'm not taking so many okay your person has a lot okay you know what i'll take it i was just going to take it quickly you have made me closer to my spirit and for this i am eternally grateful i'm obsessed with you and it scares me there is so much i want to express but when time comes i back out you want to talk to you just quickly I don't know why but I always doubt your love for me. See they have trust issues. This person out here, didn't I say that before? They have trust issues, okay? They're not sure because the way it ended, they probably feel you're never giving them a chance. I want to start all over again. Your heart and mind sing the same song. I will free myself soon to be with you. That's what they're doing. All right. Uh think of a question and this is the answer to your question. Angels, please answer the question that Aries has in mind. Answer is listen to your intuition. I'm like pick one card from time is the key. Give me one one card for Aries and their connection. What does Aries need to know about their connection? <clears throat> okay, we have two. 
one flew out which is good good time ahead keep your hopes high and give your best shot this could be like i said for the old person or the new person and beautiful time ahead cosmic energies are favoring you good luck wow these are two very beautiful cards that's what i have for you aries hope this reading resonates leave your comments below like share subscribe it helps the channel to grow thank you so much i love you i'll see you next time bye, -bye.